and I'm going to obviously continue to get leaner because I have to to get better at powerlifting, but I'm going to do things that go ahead and bring my arms up and some of the smaller. And trust me, I'm not going to lose any size. My gains aren't going to stall. I'm going to continue to get bigger and leaner and stronger as I get closer to me. We're asking me, what are you doing? I'm noticing you're leaning out or wow, you dropped a lot of fat. And I didn't drop a lot of fat for that picture. I dropped a lot of water. But I, now I will continue to get leaner and I'll drop about 20 more pounds of body fat at least before this is done because that's what I have to do to be competitive at my sport. Coming out of your weight class, I think for me historically because I haven't been lean enough, that's always been a fear, but now that I'm getting a lot leaner, I don't know. With me, if I'm going to drop in the lower weight class, it probably won't kill me to add a couple pounds of muscle in the right spots here and there. Again, as long as I'm sure I can make weight and continue to get leaner and stay lean enough. And I, let's talk about this. And you know, I've had these DEXA scans to really analyze a lot of data. And I think moving forward for a bit, I want to regain the little bit of muscle that I've lost and I need to continue to get leaner. So I think for me, adjusting my training a little further at the end of January, um, but I do need to specialize in it. I feel like it'll help me uh, attain, a, again, a better shoulder girdle, better triceps, better delts, better traps, all that stuff that I'm going to need as I continue to get leaner. So I'm in a lot of work to be done there. Uh, just like I've got to continue to lose body fat. I've got to get leaner and that's coming along and I'm not even worried about that because the scale's slowly coming down People are like, oh man, how's it it's gonna take me a while? I'm trying to gain strength while losing weight and fat. I can't do a rapid cut now. I'm down 15 We're down three since the DEXA scan and so what if the next DEXA scan rolls around I'm gonna do one every 90 days for you guys if I've only lost eight nine ten pounds of body weight, but I gain a small amount of muscle that's me in terms of building up the muscles that are going to look a certain way as I continue to get leaner. Based upon on my life experience, based upon all the scientific literature, things like that, because I need to be as strong as possible at any given size, which is another reason I'm, I'm doing a recomposition, why I'm slowly working body fat down. As you guys can see here, I mean, I'm obviously not ripped by any stretch of the imagination, but I am leaner than I've tended to be historically on this channel. And I will continue to get leaner. And I will continue to gain muscle with the cutting goals. We dex it at 17%. The goal is 15. Uh, it's not terrible, but we're going to continue to work down at this point. We're going to build strength, build conditioning, everything, and continue uh, to get leaner and get as orky as possible. All right, guys, so that's really uh, be structuring all my concurrent periodization coming up so that we can move forward, do more conditioning, focus on multiple performance elements, get more athletic. Continue to get leaner. Notice the legs, guys. My legs are filling back out. They are filling back out. And they look like they're getting leaner, so that's good. And I think the cardio and the, and the small caloric deficit and, and the squatting again, I think it's all helping. I have to just keep moving, right? But I'm leaner than I was. And you know what? I'm a 42-year-old man who competes in strength sports. I don't give a shit if I've got some love handles. If you don't like my love handles, deal with it. They will eventually go away because I'm going to continue to get leaner. I've gotten leaner, obviously, every month at this point, slowly but surely. They're eventually going to go away. They're eventually going to go away. They'll happen when they happen. That's just where I genetically store the most fat. Heavier body weight. And I've stated my goal that if I could just get back to a two plate per side press, which is 225 pounds, uh, when, as I continue to get leaner and lose body weight, I'll be thrilled. Now that's the direction I want to go for my overall fitness and, and health and athleticism. And that means you're going to continue to get leaner. And I think I'll start leading out more once I start doing all the farmer's walks. Especially doing this lower carb diet. Um, that by default will start leaning me out further. Uh, and again, I've got to remind people. I get people who come in here who are new to the channel or they haven't been here in a while. They're like, oh man, like you really need to rip down. It's like, guys... I don't promote people getting ripped. Yes, I will get leaner. From an athletic perspective, I need to be a bit leaner than I am now. Right? No one's going to debate that. It would benefit me as an athlete to get leaner. However, that doesn't mean I'm going to do some sort of deep cut. And that doesn't mean that I'm going to try to rip 20 pounds off in three months. I have some mass. I've just got to get thicker in my upper body, especially as I continue to get leaner. As you lose fat, your bench tends to go down if you're not careful. So I'm going to have to replace that fat loss with muscle. 
my upper body has to get more stacked. This thing is useless size. There could, in theory, be junk hypertrophy. So I need every single ounce of muscle that, that I build to give me as much strength as possible. Now, people say, well, why don't you get leaner? Why well, I'm getting leaner? And I'll continue to get leaner. I mean, obviously, at a certain point, if I want to be as strong as possible on pound-for-pound pound strength, we actually might even need to pay attention to the type of hypertrophy we get. Obviously, body fat matters further. So I've lost several pounds of, of muscle mass in my legs. So that's what we're rebuilding, what we lost in the last six months, right? What we lost in the last six months, I need my thighs to be as big as they were a year ago. I had more leg muscle. I had more fat too, but I had more leg muscle. So as we recomp and continue to get leaner, I need to regain some of that muscle. Um, do it the other way. Well, you just don't want to get fat. In my case, I've already been too fat and I have a YouTube career to worry about. I need to make more money off YouTube, more outreach off YouTube. So for me, I can't afford to gain body fat again. So for me, I'm at a point where I need to just slowly continue to get leaner for a long time, another year. But I need to make gains. I need to gain strip back. Very, very high priorities as we move forward. As I continue to get a little bit leaner, recomposition, drop a small amount of body weight, and keep getting better, keep getting stronger. But for now, it's I'm gaining strength back at this body weight, so staying under 220. So my body is happy here for now, so I might as well use it to make as much gains as I can and then reassess body weight and body fat coming up once I've, I've established uh, as much size and strength as I can get at, at this size. So we'll see where we can go with it. But obviously, I'm going to get leaner over time. My current body fat isn't ideal, uh, even for, for a strength athlete, if I want to be ultra competitive. So again, I've got to get stronger. I've got to get stronger. I've got to get leaner. And getting stronger also is going to entail shoring up. All we can see the body fat losing. Of course, I still got loose skin and everything. And I still carry a lot in my lower back. Um, it's only seven pounds, guys. But I gained 12 pounds, I've lost 7, and I'm probably close to as lean as I was before, and I'll continue to get leaner from here, which means we gained muscle. But I'll continue to get leaner. I need, I need to get to a lower body weight than before I gained that 12 pounds, not just get the 12 pounds off. Because I wasn't at an ideal body fat even then. So I'll continue to do so, but we have to gain strength in muscle. Uh, we're going to continue to get stronger, but it is time to get a little bit leaner. And I want people to understand when I say that, I do not mean I'm going to get ripped. I don't I should keep tightening up a bit as I continue to lose a little bit of body fat over time. Keep taking my collagen peptides. But it's going to be a very, 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 very long process there. I'm going to actually have to get pretty lean, which I will continue to get leaner. We'll get pretty lean. I mean, realistically, at this point, I'm certainly not fat if we're looking right there. Like if, if a person is defining me as fat, they've got they're from the weird bodybuilder physique world, which is a totally bizarre fetish eyes freak. B at any given body weight, I need to be a leaner and more stacked than my competition. So that means I'm going to continue to get leaner and leaner, and I'm going to have to maximize hypertrophy in order to pull that off. So that that's definitely a part of what I trust. I didn't come back in PR like last time. So we know that we've got to bring these areas up. And I've realized I'm at a point I've got to continue to get leaner. My focus on all my non-max and all my... Okay, I have 18-inch arms. So I need them to come up. Now I have bad insertions for genetics and I have long arms, right? My arms are never going to look big. I get them up to 20, they're not going to look big. Just accept that. Don't care, can't worry about it. But if I if I grow them and, and as I continue to get leaner and cut, they may look bigger. They'll never look. I feel about it. So therefore, I can't use that as a motivation to get leaner. But winning, I understand winning. That's how I think. So we'll continue to get leaner. I'm going to have to get a lot leaner. But uh, over to the point, you guys saw my cut and I've still dropped 23 pounds. So, uh, so for the record, it hasn't impeded me. I've still continued to get leaner. People are noticing I'm getting leaner. 
I'm noticing I'm getting leaner. Again, I've got a shirt on right now, but I see at this point a very visible difference when I look in the mirror in the morning. Okay, it's, it's there. We have a ways to go. I am probably going to drop 18 more pounds and then I'll bulk and cut. So I'll continue to get leaner after that, but I'm probably going to want to get down to 200 pounds. Right? We're going to get down to 200 pounds. I started the cut at 241. And then we'll start getting strong again. But that's going to be my thing. I can't afford to really be above that. So I'll probably cut to 210, then do bulks to 215, back and forth. Back and forth. I'll bulk and cut in a five pound range. It's probably what I'm going to do after this cut's over for at least the rest of the year. Or I may even drop below 210 and just bulk back up to 210 to 212. But I have to get leaner, have to be at a lighter body weight for health purposes, for competitive purposes. And, you know, we lateral and medial head. This makes sure the long head gets involved. Right, that long head might matter in the chin up, possibly. But it's just getting my triceps thicker. I want to make sure my triceps get all around big. Right, I need to bring up my arms in general. Uh, one of those things is I cut down because, again, my proportions, people think my arms are smaller than they are. But I think if I bring them up some more and as I get continue to get leaner, I think that's, that's going to disappear. That idea is going to disappear. Body composition is going to be the name of the game. And I'm still obviously doing LMDE work. I'm still running conjugate. I'm just paying a lot of attention to body composition as I continue to get leaner. This is, as I described, this is the one real vanity movement. It may not carry over to my strength at all. May not. But as I continue to get leaner and cut, to cut, I'm not done. A little bit bigger. It's normal. It happens to everybody. But, I mean, I'm continuing to cut. I'm not done cutting, by the way, guys. I'm still going to cut. And I'm going to have to get leaner over time, even in this weight class. If I haven't been overweight bulk hard during previous years, despite it being unhealthy, uh, probably not. Nope. I got muscle memory from that to work off of. That puts me in a better position. So there's a reason I say, CN, yes, there's a time and a place to get lean, and I'm going to continue to get leaner. But you have to build a base. They don't watch. My girlfriend preps bodybuilders, so, and bikini competitors, so she's helping me a little bit with that. So we're going to get some body composition changes. Uh, continue to get leaner. And bring my GPP and volume way up because again I've got to maximize body composition I got to maximize glycogen storage uh, with the water cut it cost me so it, the next one coming up is as you guys know I'm going to continue to diet leaner I'm still too fat and people are like dude you're looking real lean in those I'm too fat realistically over the next year to stay competitive I need to drop about 10 more pounds of body fat to give myself wiggle room to grow and to make water cuts easier. But I feel like I uh, walk into the 90 kilo, especially if they're short, and I could be in trouble. So I need to push it up higher, which is the other reason I keep dieting. I'm still dieting down leaner. I'm gonna have to get leaner and leaner. And you know, some people are like, how lean do you gotta get? I'm like, I am slightly tall for my weight class, guys. As a power lifter, I'm slightly tall for my weight class. I've got to get lean. To, to be real competitive, I need to maximize body composition. So we're going to continue to work on that. We're going to get leaner. I'm, prob I'm probably going to have to get pretty ripped. Maybe, you know, not quite bodybuilder contest ripped, but pretty lean. I did two, two types of rows before. And I noticed here I'm looking, looking a little more jacked. Um, I think this cut is starting to, to show a little bit here. Starting to continue to get a little leaner, a little more jacked. And I'm going to keep this up. I, I probably want to lose you know, a minimum of another 10 pounds of body fat before I even think about a lean bulk back up. I think it's the way I need to go. I need to continue to get leaner. Then we can maximize on the lean gains after that. Uh, but 